You look really grumpy, Astrid. It's her default mode. She's got resting horse face. Horse face, you know, girl dog face. Um, so, Astrid has got some fly bites on her back and they're quite swollen and they're right under the saddle. Um, so, I'm not riding her at the moment until those have gone down. Um, I've been neglecting my groundwork a little bit and as you might have seen over the last few videos, if you've been following them, um, I've kind of let let everything go with the whole mounting um, block standing still and just groundwork in general and manners and I've got a little bit keen about the riding and she's got excited about the riding and I've let things slide, it's my own fault. So seeing as I can't ride her, um, or I don't want to ride her until her back is a little bit better, I thought I would take you through my kind of like go-to groundwork session. Um, and I'm going to try and do these more often now, like at least once a week and add in new things. I am by no means a professional groundwork person. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing my best with the knowledge and skills that I have. So if you have tips and tricks and stuff, go wild, please let me know. Um, if you think some of the stuff is good, give it a go, let me know. Um, but this is just what I do, what I'm comfortable with and what I feel are kind of key areas I need my horses to be able to do for endurance. Now I don't put any fancy head collars on, I don't use any fancy ropes, I do use um, a schooling whip to be like an extension of my arm, I don't actually touch her with it, it's literally just an extension of my arm or if I was like to press her I would like press against it just so that I can stay in one space. Um, but basically when we're in a vet gate and at a venue I'm not going to have any fancy head collars on, she'll literally have a head collar bridle um, and ideally we'll get good enough that I can just give her voice commands and point and I won't need an extension of my arm so um, that's why I'm doing it basically. So I start off with, and I kind of do it in timed segments, just five minutes of walking in a serpentine over race poles. So Estrid, are we gonna wake up, show some enthusiasm? Hello. Come on then. You're such a poser. Come on. I like to have like different heights of raised poles so she doesn't get too complacent. She has to really think about what she's doing and where her legs need to go. And I don't always do the same kind of distance between them. Um, next up, we do going down the center of them, halting in between them and then backing up. You ready? Walk on. Hello. the drill and kind of anticipates what's coming so I'd like to mix it up a bit and if she's doing exactly as I want her to do I put no pressure anywhere and I stay quite still so I keep my hands to myself chill out and that's the same as I would do if I was in a vetting and she was having her heart rate taken so as long as her feet stay still <laughs> good timing then I, I let leave her be you're so good walk on well done. <laughs> Come on you, walk on. 
I need to reconfigure the poles for the next bit. So every time I reconfigure the poles, I let her loose and she can decide what she's doing. So she can either follow me around or she can go wander by herself. It's entirely up to her. So my next go-to exercise, doesn't really matter if the poles are straight or not, um, but I'm just going to weave her in and out so she gets bending and lifting and moving. And then... These are some of the bits that Esther finds the trickiest. It's all like the sideways bit. So I go halfway across the pole and then ask her to go sideways along it. And she finds this a bit good girl. No. Back up. Back up. Back. Back. This is the bit you find hard, isn't it? Right. Step over then. I know there's other horses now. Good girl. Good girl. Let's just take it. Good girl. Good girl. Sideways. Good girl. Done. I know, you're distracted by the horses turning out. You're doing very well anyway. Back up one step. That'll do. No, that's two steps. Up. Come on, come on. Sideways, please. Good girl, come on. Good girl. Good girl. You're all right. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Sideways. Good girl. And again. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. See? See, it's not that bad. Come on then. I mean, I didn't even ask. <laughs> that was a bit. That's what I mean about anticipating. I mean, well done, that is what we're gonna do, but I didn't ask for it. It doesn't always go perfectly. I'm only human and this isn't my full-time job. So my kind of rules in my head, and you can see like when she sees something is happening, she starts to get kind of more anxious and more hyped and it gets more difficult to like get through to her and things. But as soon as she's done it for me, as soon as she's done what I'm asking three times well, then I move on. I don't know if that's right or not, but that, that is what I do. So our next one is I put the um, poles in a 90 degree so I can ask her to swing her bum round and it gives me like an objective visual aid so I know that we haven't moved forwards or anything. So should we do it, Esther? Honey. Done. She's like, I know what's coming. Right, bum round, bum round. Yeah, well done. Ah, 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 stop it. Come round. Come round. Good girl, that wasn't bad. I think I'd like her front legs to stay a bit slower, but she's quite agitated. So. Good. Wait. Hello. Hello. Ready? Come round. Come round. Good girl. I know. And I'm like, L 
literally not touching her with the whip. I was literally saying, I want your bum to come round. Like, that's where my arm would be. No. <laughs> bum round. Bum round. Bum round. Come on. Good girl. really hard is to keep a bum still and move her shoulders round. Nice job. Nice job. Good girl. Come on, Lynn. Oh my sister. them really like if I was in a vet gate of course the same turned out if I was in a vet gate and I needed her to go around buckets and stuff and just needed to move a bum around I want her to know those commands because in those situations she's going to be really stressed so if someone coming and pushing her bum around she'll probably I don't know she probably not but she might kick at them or things but if she knows what that and asking to move is then hopefully she'll be less likely to be stressed so one of my last ones is just a box um, and I see if I can get her to follow me out the box and then stand nice and still in the box without a lead rope. Sometimes it goes really, really well and it's like perfect and we get all four sides and stand still in one. Sometimes she can't even be <laughs> bothered to stay with me. But um, it really depends on her mood. And today we do have a little bit of a, a sassy estrid. So let's see what happens. And we also have someone else in the arena, which I mean, she's already left. <laughs> which is interesting because she is choosing to stay with Dan. Um, bye Astrid. It's just one of those things. It's not always perfect. She's like, oh I saw the horses get turned out. I'm off to Dan now. Let's grab these. Here they come. Astrid. You are like an errant toddler. Astrid. Come here. Here you come. Here you come. I'm gonna do a bit of standing by the mountain block training that actually went quite well in the end um, and I guess her being distracted and stuff is a good practice anyway and we're starting to build a relationship together and learning together and I am gonna have um, some like clinics training sessions with groundwork and things so I will just improve my knowledge and skill set hopefully and that will benefit both of us so let's go do some standing by the mountain block practice Astrid That's 
but I want to stop. Swim around. Good girl. Well done. And I don't want to have to like hold her here. Stand. Good girl. Fill that. Fill her. Good girl, I said. And walk. Swim around. Turn up your head. Swim around. <laughs> Good, swim around. Almost. Mm, not really. There you go. Good girl. Well done. Were you listening? You were like, I'll do it for you. You should be doing Sometimes I think I'm doubting myself and you just have to kind of give the same command until you get the correct response. I don't know if that's right or not, but that seemed to work just then. So that's twice, three times. Once is luck, twice is a fluke, three times is on purpose. Yeah. Good girl, stand. Yes, good pony. Wow, I'd say that will conclude our groundwork session. Um, it only takes me like 20, 30 minutes depending on how good she's being. Um, give me top tips in the comments. Say if you liked it, if you do the same thing, what do you do? Um, I am all ears because this is something I really want to work on, especially with her, considering how nervous she is in new venues and it's on the ground we struggle most, like on board and out on course she is a dream. Um, so I really want to focus on, on this over the next few months as we're training for her first two day 80k. And your first stay away, well not your first stay away, we'll have practiced staying away quite a, couple, a few times, but your first stay away event, isn't it? You stood still and everything. Good girl. <laughs>